Representative Jerry Dockham has worked on a particular version of the state health plan reform bill. He's here on the show. Thank you for being on, sir. Good to be here. Right down to the first question that's been on my mind all week, and I've heard activists and lobbyists talk about it, this idea of a contract, so to speak, between state employees and retirees and state government who hired them. Is there such a thing, even if verbal, even if implied? Well, there is, and, uh, you know, we, we have promised our state employees health insurance all these years, and we've provided that uh, free of charge all these years. And uh, I don't know that it's actually spelled out in the contract that, that it would be that way, but we, we are obligated to do that and very glad to do that. And uh, we want to provide it as, as free as possible to our employees and the best plan that we can give them. And no matter which deal comes, whether it's free or whether it's pay, I've seen two levels, uh, t about 10, 11 bucks a month, 20 bucks a That's month. That's right. Is that much per month of a premium, whether you're a retiree or an employee, enough to say the state hasn't kept its word to supply health insurance? Well, no, we, 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 uh, we do that. Uh, there are a lot of changes in the works right now with the, with the new bill. But, no, we've, we've supplied health insurance, provided health insurance all these years, and, and a very good plan, I think. And uh, when the premiums were zero, it was a very good deal. And even at 11 or $12 a month for some of the, the employees, I think it's still a good deal when really out, out in the, uh, the uh, public private market, this policy would probably be running about $450 a month per individual. So $11 a month is not a lot to pay. As you have said in these meetings and the committees, are you seeing lawmakers who are sitting around talking business numbers, you know, bottom line, or are we talking in this political ideology or slant or outlook in regards to how to craft employee health insurance coverage? Well, uh, I think to answer that question, we need to back up just a little bit. And, and actually, the General Assembly's not done a very good job at overseeing this plan. Uh, actually, when we, when we uh, as I say we as Republicans, uh, took the majority this last time, we were about $500 million in the hole on the state employee health plan, which, which is not a good place to be because they looked to us to pay, pay the, the claims, and we had to provide that money through the General Assembly, through appropriations. So we haven't really kept a good watch on that. And with the changes that we are making, I think that that will uh, give the state employees more, more say-so. It will give them a bigger voice in how the plan uh, actually uh, operates along with the state treasurer. And uh, I think it will just be better off all the way around. It will get it out of the General Assembly. It will get it out of the politics of the General Assembly. And uh, I think the state employees will be a lot better served that way. Are all parties of this discussion and debate of the same conclusion that completely free state employee health insurance is out of the question going forward? It's just not affordable. Well, uh, you know, I would I would love to see that. I would love to see us keep the the, the premiums at zero, but uh, I think everyone realizes that this day and time, with the cost of health care, with all the other expenses that state government has, uh, we're just in a in a bad situation as far as money coming in, I think that it's, uh, they realize that it's kind of a little bit unrealistic to offer free insurance right now, and, and we're trying to keep the premiums as low as we can so that uh, it will be affordable. Representative Doggle, thanks for being on the show. You're welcome. Thank you.